All right. So I today you have a ReadWorks assignment, and I just wanted to quickly go through um, some tools and some things that I found on ReadWorks that might help you in order to um, complete this assignment more successfully or easily. So, um, and to make sure that you know how to navigate the site and to get around and to do everything that you need to do. So I have this assignment. This is the same assignment that you'll be given today, Wednesday. Um, and it is a ReadWorks passage about honeybees called Hard Times for Honeybees. So I'm currently signed in as a student, as my fourth grade student, my um, fictional student that Mr. Smolinski set up for me. So when I click this assignment, then I go to um, view it, or I could click right here to sign in and it will take me to the ReadWorks site. When I get to the ReadWorks site, I will have to um, choose an account or it might say um, sign in with Google and you'll just um, click yes that you wanna sign in with Google. When this comes up, um, sometimes it does that again and you just have to click. It, it did that to me twice. I don't know if that'll, it'll ever do it to you, but the second time, it did work for me before. Yes. So once you get to that first sign, then you say sign on as a student and you say you want to sign on with Google and it'll take you here. So then you have your class that you join and then you have your assignments. Um, I'm going to get rid of these old assignments here in just a couple of minutes. So those will probably not show up on your account or maybe it's just because as a fourth grade student, as my fixed fictitional student. I never did go here, obviously, and do those assignments, so that's why they're still in my list. Maybe you won't have them in your list because you have submitted them over here in the submitted assignments, okay? So when I get there, then I click on that, and it will take me to um, my reading page. So I read through the whole passage, of course, reading all of it, and then I'll go and I'll look at the vocabulary, and they have these three different words that you can click on and you can read the definitions of and you and read some of the um, sentences. I, I suggest you do that because there are questions about all three of these words um, that I gave you today to do. So look through and read about those words, find out about them. You can look at the images about the words if they have them there. Um, it's got a lot of really good information on this page. Um, so I highly recommend you look at that. Then you get here to the question word and it tells you question um, tab and it tells you which questions you're going to have. So you're going to have four different four question sets assigned. You have predicting questions, you have vocabulary um, questions about the word agriculture, vocabulary about pollinate and vocabulary about transfer. Um, so as you finish that then you click next and it will automatically take you to the next um, question set, which would be vocabulary because this is the predicting questions. Here's something I wanted to show you that might be a tool to help you. Um, there's a couple different things. Over here, you'll see these um, little icons and one makes the text bigger so that if it's too small on your device, you could do that to make it larger. Um, and this is another tool that might be helpful. Um, and that puts the passage right over here on the side and it's, it makes it skinny so you can look at it while you're trying to answer the question. You don't have to be flipping back and forth between um, the questions and the, and the text in order to find the answers in the text. It will help you make sure that your answers are more accurate. Um, whoops, sorry about that. As you can see over here, um, not all, there we go. Over here, it also has the vocabulary words. So when you get to the vocabulary questions, so if you get down here and you go to next and you do the vocabulary questions about agriculture, you can be here on the agriculture vocabulary page to help you with those questions. There's a lot of questions about um, vocabulary this time. Okay, same with this, this, these words about pollinate. You can go up here and it will take you to the pollinate word, okay? So I just wanted to show you those um, tools so that you would know, and then you just keep hitting next. Don't hit next until you're ready to move on to the next quest sets of questions. Um, because once you finish all of those and you hit submit, 
um, it will tell you if you have any unanswered questions, and I have a lot of them here. Um, you have two days to do this assignment, so if you want to read, maybe do some once you log out, and it does save your work. Um, I've tried that before, and I know that you can go back in, and if you don't hit submit, um, it will go back in, but once you've hit submit, um, that assignment is done, you've submitted it, um, and you can look at your results. You can see how you did. Oh, I didn't answer that one. I didn't answer these. And if that does happen, if you happen to hit submit before you um, wanted to, um, let me know. I can reassign it to you so that you can start over and um, get a better grade on that. But you have two days to read that passage and do those questions assigned. Okay. Hopefully that will help you.